Hey everyone, I'm so glad to see you. It's Michael from the Recover It team, providing you with practical data solutions. And today we'll talk about recovering files from Windows 7 through Windows 10. And everybody's been there, like rewriting a file which is really important or deleting something accidentally. How to solve that right now. Okay, the topic is apparently clear. And as a starter, let us first talk how exactly we delete files from Windows 7 or 8 or 10, because it's pretty much the same way. The easiest kind of deleting a file is hitting the delete keystroke. Or you can simply right click on the file and select the delete from the menu. If you use any of these methods, the file will go straight to your recycle bin, at which point it can easily be recovered because it's not permanently deleted. However, it is possible to delete a file or a larger number of files or even a directory by passing its temporary existence in the recycle bin. In order to do that, press the shift and while holding it, press the delete button. This results into permanently deleting a file or a number of files. Also, some extra large files do not qualify for the recycle bin because the maximum size for it is around 9 gigs. Not to worry though if you have accidentally deleted something because there are ways to recover any of these files and we'll talk about them starting with the first method. And that's the easiest one to recover files from the recycle bin. If you delete files via the standard delete options which we just mentioned, the file goes into the recycle bin and that's how to recover it. Just go to your desktop, go to the recycle bin folder, then locate the file you want to recover, right click on the file, select restore. And the file appears back to its original location, as simple as that. The second kind of restoring a file would be to a previous version. Very often it happens, you have for example a Word file that you have changed, but you want to bring back the older version of the thing, which probably has contained some important data that you now have deleted. So here's how we do that. It's slightly different for Windows 7 and now we have a newer approach for Windows 8 and 10. You can right click on the file, then select properties and go to the previous versions tab. In the file versions list, select a version that you would like to restore to. Click the open button to preview the content and once you're happy, click on the restore button. You're gonna have to save this as a different file name in order to avoid this to be overwritten. Okay, next method is for those of you who are doing regular backups and as we say there are two kinds of people, those that regularly do a backup and those that are about to learn to regularly do a backup, but that's another topic. Now, if you have a backup with all these files, you can easily go back to any previous version that you want and here's how this goes. To restore from a backup taken with Windows 10, first go to the start menu, then go to settings and select update and security. Next. Click Backup and select Backup using File History and hit the More Options menu. Scroll down until we get to the section Related Settings and click the Restore Files from a Current Backup. Enter the name of the file that you're looking for in the search box or use the left and right arrows to browse through the different versions of your folders and files. Then locate and select the file which you want to restore to its original location and then click on the Restore button. A copying box should appear with a percentage complete status and that's pretty much it. What we covered so far, the recycle bin with the different versions of Windows and then restoring to a previous version of the file and restoring from a backup. If any of those doesn't work, there's another way to do that and that's using a professional grade software for recovering your files and the best you can currently find on the market is Recover It. It's a great program that helps you to recover lost data, including important documents, family photos, even videos. And whether it's due to deleting files or corrupted hard drive or just faulty file system, doesn't matter. Recovery really is a wonderfully useful tool and you can follow the simple steps to start the recovery process. Let's go! Once installed, launch the Recovery app, select a location where your files have been deleted from and click the Start button. After scanning, the recovered files can be previewed, select the files that you want to recover and simply hit the Recover button. You see that? Only three simple steps and all your files are back to normal. Well, that's been everything about today's episode where we explored a few different ways to recover deleted or accidentally deleted files in Windows 7, 8 and 10 and I truly hope it was useful 
And no matter whether we talk about the inbuilt by Microsoft in their operating system recovery tools or we talk about a professional grade software like Recover It, fingers crossed you to never ever get any permanently deleted and lost files. And we are always here to help. Therefore, get in touch using the comment section below the video or in order to get our newest episodes, make sure to subscribe. I'm Michael and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.